welcome to um, Psychic Medium Tony G. I'm Tony G. And I'm a channel, actually. So I use the term psychic medium because it's what everybody is familiar with. So uh, psychic medium channel Tony G right here. Okay, so we're going to get started with today's show. And I am going to be taking callers, answering their questions, helping them connect to loved ones on the other side. If you have a question, if you would like to connect with a loved one, the call-in number is 845-277-5555. Okay, that's the call in number. And I am here every Monday at noon central time. So if you want to, um, if you don't get through today, you can reconnect next Monday or on a following Monday. It's, I, it seems like I'm really preoccupied right now with something and I'm just trying to figure out what my next statement should be. And here's, Here's the funniest thing. Once I start channeling, everything is so eloquent. Everything is so beautiful. It seems like I am so put together. Well, that's just them up there, the angels, um, whatever you want to call them. This girl right here. Oh, she's all over the place with her thoughts and her everything. So, okay. In a second, I'm going to get started. First, before I get started going to callers, and I will get to the callers, so uh, just um, give me a second to do that. But before I get to the callers, I just want to say that um, thank you to Rude Rangers and um, Rude Rangers TV. I am now live streaming. I don't know why I do this when I say live streaming light. This is this is my live streaming symbol apparently. I'm now live streaming on um, Amazon and Roku, which I pronounce wrong every single time. People correct me all the time. Well, that's just the way my mouth works. It's just the way I'm going to say it. I'm sorry. Um, so you can now watch me Mondays at 6 p.m. on Rude Rangers TV on Roku or Roku or we know what it is, right? We know what that is. Or on Amazon, live streaming on Amazon and or on YouTube live every Monday at noon or WSCS, Mondays at 11 a.m. Now, all of these venues you can uh, replay, especially the YouTube Live one. If you go to my YouTube Live station, you can watch all of my shows. And all of my shows have clearings or healings. And usually it's about self-love. It's about relationship. It's about career. But no matter what we're clearing, it's going to help you in every single area of your life. And excuse me, as I get so comfortable, I have my knee up and I just sit here. Um, so today I also, okay, so WSCS's show is um, 30 minutes or 28 minutes. So at about the 28 minute mark, I will thank everybody from WSCS and continue the show. If... if if you are watching on WSCS and you would like to see the rest of the show, please don't hesitate to watch on Rude Rangers TV, um, the Rude Rangers app, or uh, on my YouTube station. And if you want to find my YouTube station, it's um, Tony Green Psychic Medium or Psychic Medium Tony Green. Um, if you just put in my name, I pop up. Uh, T-O-N-I-G-R-E-E-N-E, -E -E, Psychic Medium. Okie dokie. I've also authored seven books and am working on my eighth book now. Yeah, you know what? 
I don't know what's going on. Procrastination is apparently my best friend right now. All I want to do is bike, cycle. I I love it. It's finally nice enough to go out and be on my bike. And that's all I want to do. I don't, I don't want to do anything else. And I need to, I need to get out. I need, I, I need to get out and bike is what I was about to say. See, I can't help it. I just love cycling. Um, I need to work on my books my book. I haven't updated my website. I have I didn't even do create a life you love last week. I need to to be focused on work right now. <laughs> okay, so having said all of this, I want to thank everybody who's watching live on YouTube. If you are joining me on a podcast, and thank you to all the podcast hosting companies like Spreaker, uh, Blog Talk, uh, Google, uh, there are so many. I have a list of them that I should have right here. Um, but I thank you. Um, you And you want to watch me live, you can go to YouTube and watch me live. Okay, okay. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to go straight to the first caller now. So I want to just give a few little things before I take the first caller. If I say your area code and you have me on speakerphone, <clears throat> please take me off of speakerphone. It just creates a lot of noise and I can't always hear you clearly with speakerphone. Second, I have one question, one direct question. Uh, that question should not be, who's around me? Tell me about my love life. Tell me about my career. That's a full-on session. And I'm happy to do a full-on session with you. You can schedule that with me privately. But have one direct question ready for me or one direct connection. Meaning, I would like to talk with my a grandpa, Bill. Or my Uncle Joe, or my friend so and so. Okay, um, it's not fair to everybody else calling in uh, to wait for me to go through all of your energy and find that one particular person that you're trying to connect with, but you just really want to know everybody who's around you. Set up a session for that. Also, do not piggyback. If you ask one question and I answer that question, I've answered your question. Don't say, but wait, what about this? Or piggyback a connection with a question. If you want to connect with a loved one and I connect with a loved one, at the end of that statement from your loved one, don't say, well, ask them this. It's, again, not fair. If you saw my call log, and how many people are waiting, uh, you would understand um, that I it, it, it's really not fair to all the people waiting to ask a question. And all the people on YouTube who are uh, connecting and might want to ask a question. Now, last week or the week before, somebody on YouTube told me to stop talking and take questions. No. No, I get to talk as much as I want. <laughs> Don't tell me ever to stop talking. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> and if you need me to stop talking to answer your question, book a session. Boom, bang, done. <laughs> okay? Do not tell a Gemini to stop talking. They will talk for an hour about their right to talk. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> I'm going to go to the first caller now. Um, 780. What's your name? Where are you calling from? <laughs> hey, Tony. It's uh, Jay calling from Canada. Thanks for taking my call. It's pretty funny. <laughs> hey, Jay. How are you? <laughs> Good. How about yourself? Oh, I'm. I'm having a great time over here, apparently. 
Oh, Jay, thank you so much for calling in today. It's always such an honor and a pleasure um, to hear from you. How, how have you been? How's everything going? I'm doing pretty good, you know, I'm just preparing for what's going on in the fall and possible grief and things like that. Lots of grief probably in the fall, probably, or summertime fall, so just getting prepared for that too, so, yeah. Okay. So... And what would you like to, uh, do you have a question or a connection today? A connection, please, with uh, my mother. Yeah, of and, course. Do you have yeah, a specific that, question uh, for her, or do you just want a message? Uh, my question is that, um, can she direct me which ways to prepare for the coming surge of probably death this summertime fall? and how to direct that energy or uh, prepare for it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's really, I oh, Jay, I have goosebumps all over. Ah! So there's this song that she is singing, and the song is, it's a long time coming, coming. And I'm sorry to everybody, I have no no musical skills whatsoever, but I will try. I will try to sing when they tell no me problem, to sing. That's great. <laughs> um, and then the other thing is this other song. It's been a long time since I've seen you, my friend. Da na 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 na. When I see you again. Okay, so if you, uh, uh, oh, geez. you know, right? You know that song, right? Oh. Yes. When yeah. I see. Again. Okay, so enough of that because I really cannot pull off those tones at all. I mean, there are certain, like I can fake a rap song for sure. I can I can fake Snoop Dogg really well because it's mostly talking anyway. But something like this where you actually have to have a talent, yeah, not I cannot do it. Um, thank you. Oh, you're really way too kind. Okay, so here's what your mom. Those are the songs she is starting with. And what she wants to say is um, embrace what is now. Okay. Embrace what is now and know. Because I think I know what you're talking about, Jay, but I'm not going to go there on air because I don't want my station no, to get taken yeah. down or banned. Yeah. And, but I'm right, Jay, yeah. Jay, I am right freaking there with you i i think i know I'll email you. yeah oh seriously yeah, I'll one, email you. Yeah. one million percent so um so what what i'm getting and what's really important to know is um no one can take what is meant is the message i'm getting so <clears throat> Oh my gosh. I I there my my head is literally like so many things are popping up that uh, I know I cannot say on the air at all. I know I can't. Um but no one can okay. take okay. Well, what what is meant meaning even a life so even though there are so many things going on behind the scenes right now and um, so many circumstances that are questionable right now, the, the uh, resilience of humankind is powerful. Now, whatever comes in over the next six to nine months, but more, more exacting, Jay, the next three years, um, the next three years is um, part of, part of a wake up call, so to say, part of a wake up call um, for I'm getting the word humanity, so I'm just going to say it. Um, it's part of a wake-up call for humanity. It's part of a wake-up call for the masses. Um, and again, um, 
Uh, and again, uh, here's what we can do as things progress. Um, just get the word out. Just get the word out and yeah. make it part of the part of because oh, I can't even finish sentences right now. Um, just make sure that the word gets out um, as it's not right now. The appropriate word, the truth is being hidden. The truth is being stifled. So as things come through, as things happen, it's important in whatever way we can to get the word out. I know people personally who have 10 to 15 social media accounts on each social media venue, which seems like a lot of work, but some of those accounts are sleeper accounts. So when they get tossed off of one, they just use another, or they have this account to, to, for this purpose. Okay. So that's one thing that they're saying right now. And for everybody out there who thinks that, um, that, that there are a lot of conspiracy theorists going on right now. Well, hi, how you doing? First of all, second, <laughs> um, do research on venues that are not attached to the agenda. Go to DuckDuckGo, go to other search engines. There is um, a lot of information available if you know where to look. Um, so somebody, somebody came in my office the other day and they said to me uh, that they were, we were talking about the great vaccine and, <laughs> and I said, you know, when they created this patent X number of years ago, and she looked at me with just so much genuineness in her little heart and said, how could they have come up with the vaccine years ago when it just came out? And I was like, where do I even start? <laughs> where, like, like, where do you even start? And I said, well, when they came up with this particular vaccine, and I won't say which vaccine, they also came up with the patent, when they came up with the patent for the vaccine, not the actual vaccine, the patent for the vaccine, they also came up with the patent for several other medications, most of them having to do with fertility, reproductive, and um, what is that called? Lungs, uh, breathing, uh, I can't, why can't I think of that? So, as oh autoimmune diseases so as we go through the next three years and we have a surge of oh my gosh where did this come from and the patent to this new medication already exists and came out at the same time as the patent for the vaccine like don't research for folks just research but you know all we can do is say jay there's a bigger there, there is a bigger uh, plan here that we have to really pay attention to and we have to really be in alignment with and we have to understand for all that it is. Um, okay. And people are very, very resilient. The will to live can be more powerful than anything you can imagine. So that's that is not where I thought this morning would go, but I'm happy that we went there. <laughs> I'm so happy that we went there. Um, and your your mom does want to say welcome. that you're doing a great job. Um, and uh, she one more song that I know she probably never sang or never um, never. It probably even new. It's uh, keep your head up. You got to keep your head up. And and again, it is a rap song, but I did not sing it in a rap way. Uh, but it, I think 
to answer your question, we just have to have that um, knowing that we are, everything that's happening is happening as it is supposed to. When there are things that we cannot control, we have to reach deep inside of ourselves and we have to control our perception of what we cannot control. And we have to keep our power of thought going in that positive direction. Because remember, as we, we create our world individually, but we also create our world collectively. So we have to, as a collective, um, putting thoughts into the big engine, so to say, we have to keep those thoughts positive and on the right track. Okay, love? Love. Lots. Lots of love. Thank you for... Everyone's on the phone too. Sorry about this call being so long. So oh no no um, no thank worries. Thank you for your wisdom. No worries. I am actually um, letting the show run a little bit longer now, just so I can get to more people. And so no worries whatsoever. I always love speaking with you. It's always an honor and a pleasure. Um, I am going to go directly to the next caller, who is nine five one. Hey, 951, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, Tony? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? It's uh, Nathaniel from California. Oh, my goodness. Today is such an awesome day. I get my favorite peeps calling in. <laughs> Nathaniel, how, what's going on with you? What would you like to do today? Ask a question, connect with a loved one. Well, uh, I had a dream about my grandma uh, the other night, and she had some convertible and stuff, and I don't know what she was trying to communicate something to me, but sometimes I just have a blast when I when I dream. So it was, wasn't like last night or the last three nights, I think, but after that I had about four nights ago. So I wanted to see if I could connect with my grandma yeah. If she's trying to get something true in the last uh, something coming up or yeah, something you, like you that. know, Nathaniel, the biggest thing that the first word I get with your grandma is remedy, remedy, remedy. Like, um, and and there's an I feel like she's a tincture, remedy, natural, um, yeah. I think what she's trying to communicate to you is um, that there is, if you, if there's something going on in your life, if there's something you've been trying to find an answer to, that there's a natural remedy, there's a, um, there is a, a tincture or, or a natural remedy that will help you with whatever's going on in your life. And it is going to help you to uh, kind of get, get resolved what you're working on. I don't know if this makes sense to you or not, but this is the message she's bringing through to me for you. Um, that there is a natural remedy that she wants you to look into. Uh for something in your now let me let me go this far let me jump uh, now if there's something physically going on that makes sense for something physical but also if you're having a lot of thought patterns lately or a lot of um anxiety or it, it, there's a natural an, an anxiety you know thought patterns or whatever it is in the mind there's a lot that can be done naturally for the mind also. Um, a lot that it can be, uh, even if it's just changing your thought patterns or, um, but there's, there's a remedy for whatever it is that you have been experiencing, a tincture that will help you 
resolve whatever it is. Um, and if, if it's just that you've been nervous or if it's that you've been in a place where you are, like I just get overthinking nervousness, um, un an unsettledness about you, um, which is not your energy typically. Typically you're just so laid back, you're just so chill. So that would be surprising to me that that would be the case. But we all go through those times. So I'm going to say the biggest thing she wants you to know is that there's a remedy and it's natural. Okay, love? All right. And I, I'm really gra grateful, grateful, grateful that you called in today and we were able to connect. I always love connecting with those who are are always who have been a part of the show since the beginning so thank you so much oh, thank you have a good day. thank you i'm gonna go directly um to the next call now really quick before i hit the next call who is going to be 316 um give me a second i want to thank everybody on wscs for listening if you would like to see the rest of this show, you can go to my YouTube station or to uh, the Rude Rangers TV and watch the rest of the show. Uh, WSCS, I know there is like another minute or two left, but I know I'm going to be in the middle of a collar when it cuts out. So here we go. 316, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing amazing. Thank you so much for asking. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name's Brianna, and I'm calling from Missouri. Hey, Brianna. How can I help you today? I wanted to know what you see for the future between Drake and I. Okay. Give me one quick moment here while I kind of slip into your situation. So, okay, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this week immediately, the next two weeks, and then I'm going to go from there. Over the next two weeks, do not push okay. buttons, baby girl. Do not push buttons. Oh, and I'm not saying walk on eggshells or pins or needles. I'm not saying, uh, oh, I love when spirit does this. Somebody from above is coming in from, for you or somebody from the other side because I'm, I'm getting this little accent and it cracks me up because I notice my voice changing. I don't know if other people notice my voice changing, but it to me it's like, Seriously, it's the funniest thing. Okay, there it is again. Here we go. Okay, they're not going to let... I don't know who this is coming through for you. <laughs> and I'm sorry I'm giggling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but to me, it just cracks me up to hear myself speak, um, to speak like with an accent. So here we go. Um, over the next two weeks, do not push buttons. Do not, if you know there's a sensitive subject that's on the table, you just push that aside and you wait until after this two weeks is done and everything is calmed down. Uh, do not bring up things from the past and you're really, you know, you're probably going to want to, but please do not bring up things from the past over the next two weeks. Do not bring up things that will be controversial. Do not bring up things that will cause any sort of problem. Until next time, have an absolutely amazing, amazing rest of the day.